Today's educational system was developed during the Industrial Revolution. And that's the problem, it hasn't changed in 150 years. <laughs> In the US, schools are falling apart. In Africa, they don't even exist. We are short millions of teachers. The problems of education seem incurable. But with a shift of perspective, we can turn learning scarcity into learning abundance. During the Industrial Revolution 150 years ago, education went from the privileged and rich few to the masses, but it did so at a cost. In order to educate the masses, it went mass production. Kids were grouped by ages, they were all given the same assignments, it was an assembly line mentality. systems of learning don't work. So how do we teach kids to learn in the developing world? Well, as it turns out, kids are incredibly inquisitive. Nicholas Negroponte, the founder of One Laptop Per Child, did one of the first epic experiments, which he went to two villages with 20 tablets. Now, these just weren't any villages. They were villages in the middle of no place, hundreds of kilometers from any other individuals. He gave those 20 tablets to the kids and then left. In the course of the first few hours, the first child learned how to turn a tablet on and showed that to the other kids. By the end of the day, those kids were using a dozen applications on those tablets. By the end of the first year, they had taught themselves ABCs and had begun to sound out words. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Imagine kids around the world, a hundred million of them, with a tablet or a smartphone that don't need a school, don't need a teacher, who are engaged because it's gamified, it's fun, and they can learn how to read and learn to learn for themselves. Technology is paving a new direction, not one in which you memorize answers, it's one in which you ask the right questions. Today, what's valued far more is creativity, collaboration, and critical thinking. These are the three R's for the 21st century. We are about to create a world of global literacy, a world that is extraordinary, a world in which our children's future is much smarter than you think.